Hey everyone, hey everyone. This is Earth Angel, Goddess Oracle, back with another reading for the collectives. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers, welcome. All right, so first thing first, you guys know, I am not a tarot reader, I am a prophetess. I use cards just to connect with you guys, just to connect with over energies for the collectives and their person. Over here is the self-love journey. We go through the grow-through. We take those lessons that create blessings out of everything that we go through. So I don't do personal readings. I don't answer personal questions. I focus on the things you guys need to know, not want to know. So if you guys want what I offer, it's called a Healer's Corners message. And that is a message from your spirit guides and your angels. Exactly what you need to hear. Not what you want to hear. So simply send me your name and date of birth. You can go on the community board to see how to receive a message from me. 1818 is a donation. Please follow the steps on the community board. Please allow 21 days for me to get back to you guys. All right, y'all. So you guys see that I am doing a pre-recording. Y'all know I really don't like doing these shits. But I am being led to go take the rest of the day off. I've been in hermit mode. I've been grinding. I've been working. Spirit wants me to rest. And that's something I don't know how to do. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my happy place, you guys. Um, you know, these past couple weeks it's been fun. I've been busy. I've been outside. I've been enjoying companies. I've just been doing a lot of things. And um, I'm like a little, I need a little rest. Just a little break, just a little break. So I'm pre-recording this so y'all can have some content. And I'm going to go ahead and go outside. You hear me? <laughs> go outside. I haven't done that in a while. I've been detoxing, you know, getting very connected to spirit, even more ascending. And y'all know we're about to be going through a retrograde and eclipse, all kinds of shit. And then we got the spring, the equinox is here and stuff like that. So it's a lot going on, a lot of energy going on. And I have to stay grounded because right now I'm picking up on... So many energies that's not mine and it's fucking exhausting me, y'all, for real. So, yeah, I got to, like, fight back by keeping myself grounded. So, that's what I'm doing, y'all. So, I don't like this. I want to be live with y'all, but I am, even though I don't feel like it, y'all, I don't want to take the rest of the day off. Because I had mad clients this morning and I have, like, some time to myself for the rest of the day. Um, I guess that's why Spirit's telling me to do this because I don't feel like it. I don't want to. I'm trying to fight it, but I got to be obedient. You understand? So I'm going to do what I've been told. I'm going to go where I'm supposed to be going, okay? So bear with me, y'all. I miss y'all. I don't like, I don't like pre recordings. I just don't like it. Unless I'm going away on a trip and shit. I still don't like that shit. But anyway, we're here and you got a message. And it is what it is. You already know how to contact, how to get a candle from me. I am blessed. I am enough. I am healed. It's currently sold out. My Instagram for that is Serene Naturals. It's S-E-R-E-N-E-N-A-T-U-R-A-L-S underscore. The link is in the bio. And do not forget... If you guys want me as your holistic life coach, uh, the website is www.serenelifealicia.com. That's S-E-R-E-N-E-L-I-F-E-A-L-I-C-I-A.com. Shoot me an email if you want a one hour in person. If you're in New Jersey or over the phone session with me, it's not a reading. It's for me to be your holistic life coach. All right, y'all. So the website, all of the information is on the community board as well, too. No, I don't do personal readings. And no, I don't answer personal questions. But what I do offer, it's called a Healer's Corners message. And that is a message from your spirit guides and your angels. Exactly what you need to hear. Not what you want to hear. So you guys can go on the community board, follow steps correctly. Give me 21 days to get back to y'all because I do a million freaking things. Please have some patience and I ain't rushing for nobody. And also you have to follow the steps exactly how I ask for it on the community board. Don't do what you want to do with it. When I say two screenshots, one of your cash app name, one of your um donation, the donation is 1818. I need both screenshots. Don't send me a text. Don't send me an email with your cash app name. That's not what I look for. All right, y'all, please make sure you guys write in the subject bar if it's going to be an advice message or a healer's corners message. If not, it's either I delay y'all or I choose what I feel like y'all should get. And now I don't like to choose for other people, okay? So anyway, let's tap in, y'all. I love y'all for real. I already know my moderator is going to be in the motherfucking builds in. So the website should be slashing across your screen. Read the freaking live videos. I know you know Slim Jim got me. It ain't nothing. You hear me? So, yeah. Just go on the community board. Everything's on the community board, you guys. So, the energy is hurting. 
I'm just picking up on so much karmic energy, y'all. I was seeing so many visions, child. It's ridiculous. So many of the past, the people from your past. It's just a lot of people's fucking up here. Feeling abandoned, confused, and off balance, penny pension, money pension. Trying to figure out what their future, what lies in their future. And then it's like, but then here go you. You living a life with no regrets. While all of that's going on. So, you have a particular person, though. I'm going to break it down to this particular person. They can have a tattoo on their arm. They could have a low cut. Or they could have, at one point, had a low cut. They could have changed since then. Maybe you guys knew this person when they was longer, younger. Maybe this person, for some, I feel like I'm picking up a model as well, too. Or they just think they look the fuck good. Or they do. And they just, like, big-headed. Very, you know, got that, like, cocky energy about them. I'm just picking up on some cocky energy. But um, that person is hurting. Yes, they are. Somebody who could have juggled you. Um, and now that person is feeling abandoned by you. And the gag is, it's like, um, it's crazy because this is somebody who could, I feel like, abandoned you too. They could have other options. Trying to juggle you and even abandon you. And now this person's stuck. Waiting for you. Because this is the energy I'm picking up on right here. Waiting. The two of wands. This is about a choice decision. Just like the two of pentacles. This person has to make some type of decision. That they keep going up and down about. And it looks like this is the ace of wands that they holding on to. This is like a new beginning they want with you. They got somebody on the side. But this person's not taking any action. They're just waiting for you to come to them. Yet, it's like they're thinking about it. You know? But they're not doing anything. They're sobbing and sulking. And look at this. You guys could be at a distance, different parts of the fucking world, or just living at a distance from this person. They're in a state of emergency right now because it looks like you're not coming. For some, they could have been waiting for a long time. For some, it could have been since two years y'all spoke. Five years, four years. All right? I'm seeing five a lot, and I'm seeing two. So that's significant. Um, but um, this came out because this is you. Because they feel abandoned, they feel stuck, they're off and on in their head about what the fuck to do, and you're holding back from them. You're not giving them shit. <laughs> you're not give, offering them no time, no money, no resources. You're not giving them a hint on what they should do. You're not trying to give nothing. You're not speaking to this person. You don't want to give any information to help them make a decision. It's like, who? no, I'm holding the fuck back. I'm holding back all my resources. Because you know, wow, this is giving me the tower back there. That ship has fell, has sailed, I feel like. The, the, the tower has fell. Shit already went crumbling down. It's like, fuck that. I'm holding on to what I have, and I'm not offering you anything that I created and what I got in this motherfucking bag. Mm. And then I feel like you guys, y'all not living in any type of remorse. I feel like because you guys, you guys, you can sleep at night because you know you did everything you, sh you should have. And this is the opposite. This person can't. They hurting. They off and on about what the fuck to do. Hot and cold. Like, undecided. Feeling abandoned. Feeling stuck. Like, on you and their future. Not knowing what road to take or what decisions to make. Like, this is, this is them. So I feel like. You're in the energy of not being sad and no remorse because you know what the fuck you've done. And this person's in the opposite energy. And they're just off and on about if they should come towards you. I feel like because they want to take action towards you, but they don't know if they should. Because when they look at you, it looks like you, you don't care. So they don't even want to be fucking... They already feel abandoned. They don't want to be rejected. This person's just, I, the energy I'm feeling about, feeling right now is they're feeling sorry for themselves more so. But hurting you is hurting them, is what I'm seeing too. Let's see what we got going on here. Spirit, please take this reading. Only allow positive energy into this reading. Only allow what is I call a palm, which is positive energy. Sing your spirit, guys, and angels to protect me. Allow me to see the things you want me to see and what God want me to see and know. Look at this, y'all. Karma. Whew, this person's experiencing karma. Look at them. Hurt as fuck right now. Thought they was going to be good without you, right? They're mad. Mad as hell. That you're no longer in denial. About how this person is an opportunist. Who they don't offer much to the table. Who this person, you know, is, is emotionally immature. And this is a breakup for you. And they're upset. 
Because it look when I said waiting, I told you I feel like they was waiting. They're upset because they've been waiting for you to come back. But they don't want to commit to you. That's just stupid. That sounds dumb and stupid and retarded. But they're bitter. I can tell you that. This person's mad as shit. They're bitter. They're angry. They're frustrated. Um, this is somebody who could abuse their power. Could have said something fucked up to you as well, too. And you're no longer co and it's because you're no longer confused, right? This person has been exposed with the sun card. They have been exposed, and you guys are keeping the fuck away. You've gained a lot of wisdom. You understand? Like I said, you guys could have been utterly, you know, spoke your fucking truth to this person. Because it's somebody who just would not give you anything serious. Okay, y'all. So, the reason why we're reading about this is this row right here. This person's regretting being cold, breaking your heart a million times, blocking you. So, for some, they even blocked your ass. And, and it doesn't have to be physical. They could have, like, literally, like energetically blocked you from out of their life and you know created some type of just kept themselves just like guarded not allowing you in and then this person even moved on from you or moved away or moved in with some fucking body they did uh, they regret doing all of this shit right now they regret it now i'm gonna tell you what i saw under this deck it's gonna require huh with this person i ain't gonna lie to you you see these Saint, you see, two of pentacles. This person still doesn't know what to do, what they want for themselves, what they what they created, what like uh, I don't even know how to. It's the frustration for me. This per it's gonna require a lot of patience to deal with this person because this person has to heal. It's gonna require a lot of time. I ain't gonna hold you. I hit a lot of time. A lot of time. Because look, this person is, is literally like scared. In a state of fear. Frustration. Right? Look. It's a lot of secrets. Secret addictions they got going on with the devil card. It's, it's going to require a lot of time. A lot of patience for this person. No lie. like, And that's... That's if, and I wouldn't tell none of y'all to wait for no fucking body, but it's, this person requires time and a lot of it. This is somebody who's been toxic for a long time and it fears and secrets and I don't know how old this person is, but it's telling me this person been freaking toxic more than they've been regular. So this person could have been toxic since they was like 12, 13, they could be 50, 40, 35. It's, you know, like, if somebody's been one way for a long time, it takes it, it to break that. Even when you talk about eating and shit, right? And you want to change and you want to clean your system. What does it take? 21 days for your body to adjust to a new system? So if you cut out meat or something, it takes 21 days for your body to adjust with not having meat. So imagine somebody being toxic since they was fucking 13, 14, and they're like 35, 40, 50. It's going to require a lot of patience for this person. And it's not fair to you. It's just not fucking fair. Okay? Um, but let's see. Why are we reading about this? So, I don't know, y'all. It's just... This person sucks. They feel... They got abandonment issues. Like, it's bigger. It's, they got money issues here. This person, like... They don't know what their future holds. They're stuck trying to figure out what road to take. That's why they're not making any moves, yo. This person is up and down on what the fuck they want for themselves. They really don't fucking know. But you're not like that. I really feel like this is a warning message for y'all to hold back from this person. To be real with you. I really feel like because it's going to require a lot of time. And I just told y'all karma has to play out for all of the things they fucking did up until now. So they got to finish out this karma. And this could be a while because we don't need know how many cycles your person fucking done did. Because they've been toxic for a long time. Damn. I said this. I said they've been toxic for a long time. They've been doing this for a long time. This black magic gonna have to wear its karma. I don't know, y'all. Mm -hmm. This next year for this person is going to be very painful. Somebody might lose their home. 
Like, I'm just seeing somebody lose, like, their furniture, their home, money. Like, they got some karma to pay. They got some karma to pay, y'all. Mmm. Why you not it? You you don't you done paid your karmic debt, and spirit telling you to hold back. It, I really feel like this is because this felt like this. So spirit telling you to hold back from this person. They got some things to go through. All right, spirit. Why do you have me reading about this for the collectives? Didn't I tell you, King of Pentacles in reverse, child. Oh, Lord. Mm-mm-mm. This person right now, they're not stable. They're not grounded at all, Spirit is saying. Not them trying to avoid doing the work that they need to do. They've been trying to do that. Mm. It's like they didn't want to fight for the connection. Mm-hmm person got some work to do and it's like it's gonna take a <laughs> it's a lot they gotta put they, they gotta put in they gotta put in that work to do it it's crazy because this person now and got shit and they did not want to fight for your connection but then they had went and got a third party who they invested into so they didn't fight for your connection. They lost everything. Didn't fight for your connection. And they worked on something with somebody else and actually put in work with that person and not getting what they want out of it. And this is somebody who does not want to be judged by that. They don't. They don't want you to judge them. They don't want you to say, I told you so. Mm, mm hmm. It's crazy. They walked away from you just so they could be out here in these streets and fuck around after going in and coming in and out of your life. I just felt like, yeah, there's no growth here. There was no growth in this connection at all. At all. And they walked away from you and they went and they and it's so crazy. They was out here chasing whatever outside in these streets. There was no growth from you. They rejected you. Didn't take any action towards you. And they manipulated you. Damn. Ooh. Because they had other lovers. Right? And now this person wants to have another opportunity with you. Because, look. You're moving on. And this person's now heartbroken. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You're being guided to move on. And now they're heartbroken. Yep. Look, because look, this person betrayed themselves. By having you fucking waiting. Mm. All this time. While they be out here doing goofy shit. Mm. See? They know they didn't protect you. Oh, wow. This person knows they didn't make you feel safe in a, in a relationship or that you don't feel safe with them. And they know they didn't protect you. That's why you're not dealing with them. They know why you don't want to deal with them. Yep, yeah, because they're toxic. Yep. Yeah. And because you know this person still got toxic traits and you're still holding on to toxicity. Toxic addictions. People, places, and things. And because that they know, because you know about this, you got they, they don't got the upper hand in the situation. And now they're the ones in mental prison. But some they could physically be in prison. Angry. Angry. Because they gotta heal. Right? They got to heal from some type of situation. This ain't got nothing to do with you. It's saying they got to heal from being cheated on. I guess they got cheated on by somebody else. I don't know if you was the one who did it, but I don't feel like it is. Yep, because that's the burden that they're carrying. They got cheated on by somebody else. And now they're mad because they got to heal over that. They have to. They got to get over that. 
Because it's doing nothing but cords and burdens in their fucking life. Because look, you freed yourself from them. And they also mad because they, they you've healed from them. Because they could have cheated on you. And that's something they're struggling with. You being free while they're still juggling other options, being mad at you after they treated you unfairly, right? Because they didn't want to give you, they didn't want to date you or court you. Now they're going through karma. Now they're going through karma. The will is changing in a bad direction for them. This person is not happy. They may not have, they may have issues with their family. Um, people that they grew up with. It looks like they're actually secluding themselves from them in the hermit mode. Yep, because they have money issues. They have some type of money issues going on. This is somebody who is ghosting people right now, too, from their past. And then this is somebody who didn't want to commit to you, right? And you gain some clarity, right? Because this person could have said something immaturely about fucking around with these hoes. They could have said something like that to you, something stupid, out of pocket. Right? And so now your ass is like, yeah, that's not what I fucking want. You being honest, that honesty, you being honest about you, that you still out here in these streets is making me not even want to look at you. So you guys are now holding back from this person. For some of y'all, this, this person, they said something childishly to you because you spoke your fucking truth. Right? This person has, could have ghosted you because you, not, I feel like you ghosted them because they didn't want to commit. And you could have spoke some truth. You got some clarity from when this person said something about them dealing with somebody else. Dealing with low vibrational people. I don't want to call them hoes. This is what's making you hold back from this person. That's why you're not in regret about this breakup. That's the reason why. Because this person was honest. And you know what kind of time they on. You got clarity. They spoke their truth. And you got a chance to speak yours too. And maturely or not that he, they spoke, you got the answers that you needed from this person. And then it's sad because it's after this breakup, this person let their pride, you know, got in their motherfucking ego, went and got attention from other people, flirting people, being non-committal, and now they're stuck, okay? Now they're stuck because you're not giving to them anymore. You guys are now focused on your stability, and they're in a karmic cycle waiting for you. You know how y'all was waiting for this person forever, hoping that they fucking get it right? They're waiting for you now, and they're angry, and they're bitter. And the reason why they're angry and they're bitter, more possessive over you more than anything, because they can't control you and because your ass is not in your head no more. After they put had all this black magic and spiritual attacks, their secrets now are out. You know their secrets. For some, they told you. And now this person's out here struggling with the fact that you ain't talking to them no more. This person's struggling. Financially, they're struggling, but then they're struggling with you not speaking to them. I feel like that's bothering them the most. And it's like now this person's losing faith. They feel like it's hopeless that you now are deciding to be single and you're not accepting their cup. Mm, they want to come back to apologize to y'all. And they don't want it to be over. They want to resurrect this, but they've been exposed. You know this person for being emotionally immature and you just does not trust them because all they do is manipulate. Their manipulations has been revealed and you no longer want to invest into this. So I don't see you, nothing moving towards, I, um, nothing moving forward. There's another karmic here. There's you as well too that they can't get over an ending with. Right? So they got a karmic situation they're dealing with. Then there's you who took your love back and they don't want it to be over with it. But this person's not into now. They know why you holding back because they won't give you nothing serious. And it's like, and because they can't, and they can't confuse you no more with their tactics. So this person is sitting up here hurt, stuck, feeling abandoned, going back and forth about what they should do, what they shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're, this person's confused. And like I said at the beginning of the reading, Temperance was at the bottom of this fucking deck. It's going to take this person a lot of time. They got themselves in too deep with this karmic shit. It's crazy how they moving and how they feeling right now. Let's see what else. Let me just pull this deck out. 
and see what else y'all need to know. And that's why Spirit is, is advising you with that damn card to hold the fuck back because this person is all over the place. Look at them. They got to still make a choice. They haven't. This person's up and down with their feelings, off balance, still juggling other people, feeling abandoned, money issues. This person's hurting about multiple things. Spirit, is there anything else a collective need to know? Mm, this is in reverse. This is giving a breakup. Mm. So, and this is also giving a karmic. So this is a they they're dealing with a karmic who they're sneaking around with. That karmic could have like some drinking problems or addictions. They may share addictions while they're looking up at mm, while they're looking you up and being overly protective about you. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like a lot of y'all, this is a breakup. You're breaking up with this sneaky person as well, too, um, who they can have addictions. And this person is looking you up, become more um, territorial over you. This person could be in jail right now, but I feel like you guys, they're blocked because of their ego. Yep, and Spirit is saying, y'all got better days ahead for you. Mm. They're blocked because their ego's too big. Yep. Oh, look at this. Peace. Better days filled with peace and tranquility. Yes, this is a breakup. That is it. That's all they want to talk about. Let go of the past. Spirit is telling y'all to let go. Let go and let God. There may be a vacation coming up for you to be able to get grounded. Remember I just was talking about getting grounded? Right? That's what I'm going to go do my damn self. Ooh. Mm. You got somebody that's going to be passionate towards you. Ooh, somebody new. You gonna might have a passion new beginning with somebody else. Somebody completely new. Mm. Yeah, this person right now, they, they chained up right now. You up here working through your problems. And this stubborn person now is feeling very insecure. We see that. This is what's going on. They feel very insecure. They could be getting some type of readings, or you guys can be like intuitive, or you're getting tarot readings as well, too. Um, yeah, it, but I feel like, yeah, for some of y'all, y'all could just be psychic your damn self, or this is just your intuition. Like, you guys are highly intuitive. You're about to be spending more time with your friends, um, and I just feel like there's a lot of peace, and there's a light at the end of the tunnel, so spirits telling you to have faith. I'm seeing something go down um, around, like, the, the autumn with a third party situation mm, that somebody been coupling up. So this part, I, I feel like, I don't know if that's you. I feel like this may be that person. Something's going to go down in the fucking um, autumn. Or something could have went down already with, in the autumn with somebody else. Maybe you found, found out something about your person and somebody else. But it's with a third party. Or this is happening in the future for you guys. Something's going to happen between them. Up oh, spring renewal. Damn it. <sighs> okay, so somebody's person's coming back in the spring. They're going to try to act you out on a date. And this is somebody who's a habitual liar that you guys been trying to detox yourself from. So ever since you guys been achieving your goals, this person's been fucking watching and prying and trying to figure out their next move on how to come in to love bomb you, right? Because they have some type of fatal attack attraction towards you. I got to cover that up. Yep, they're wearing a mask. Trying to been trying to figure you the fuck out so that they can be able to mend things with you. So this person's been watching you, trying to gain some clues and information about what you like, what you don't like, so they could come in and like, like heal shit with you. Because they know that you don't want to hear no excuses from them. So they're trying to use different tactics. Mm. But they've been busy, Spirit of saying, using other people for whatever they can, maybe sex for money, whatever trying to fill whatever void they have when it comes to you but what they realize ain't nobody like you they put you on a fucking pedestal you the queen bee here and they've been watching you a whole lot since the fuck winter time and then you've been in their fucking dreams as well too see spirit's been fucking helping you guys heal from above 
with y'all doing y'all shadow work because this person is only going to try to come back to betray you again. They still got fucking secrets, but they're going to send you some type of text message, letter, email, phone call, where they're going to tell you that they've grown the fuck up and that they have elevated. So spirit's been trying to prepare you for this communication. But this is somebody who's still frozen in fucking time. They have not changed. That wants to rekindle, right? What I said, they're still stuck. What? With their inner demons and their addictions. Okay, do you hear me? Focus on loving yourself, spirit is saying. You got a lot of growth happening for you guys in the summertime. And you're about to get a lot more attention from other people. So you guys are about to get recognition, rewards, attention. You guys are headed towards your faith. Whatever's meant for you is happening for you. And this this is a breakup. This person's going to be heartbroken. They're going to be heartbroken because they're going to be blocked. Only able to watch you. So, yeah. You know this person going to try to come try, y'all. Let's see if there's any anything else important that y'all need to know before I close out. So, y'all got a lot of shit going down. A lot of things is coming. Um... For you guys, or towards you guys, spirit's telling you to let go of the past. This person is going to take this person a long time with the temperance card, y'all. No lie. I mean, even if they start the healing now, it's just too much. It's too much karma that they have to deal with first. I ain't going to hold you. This person's going to take a long time. Anything important for the collective to know right now? Lions, okay. They're going to come lying to you? Yep, because you're doing better than them. So they're going to be lying. To, they're good. We just see they got money issues and issues. They're going to be lying to y'all, making it seem like they're doing good. Yeah, because they're watching you do better than them. And that's kind of irking them a little bit, fucking with their insecurity. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like you're done with them. So they're about to come back lying to you. Like they're good and stuff. Yep, and remember, there's a third party here. Third party that they're not interested in like that, that you possibly already know will be finding out about. That they're miserable with, right? And look, <laughs> then they got, they feel, because you guys feel like you got your shit together, they feel threatened by you, by your success, right? But they still got passionate thoughts about you guys. They feel threatened by you guys. Mm, look at this in reverse. They can't they can't copy you. They can't find nobody better than you. They cannot replace you. Yep. So this person feels like they need you. Even though they're acting like they're happy with someone else. They're lying to that person. So at the end of the day, y'all, whatever game they was playing, you won. Without even trying. Because you wasn't even in this damn game. Look, they all up in your business. Completely in your business. Look. He's not good for you right now. He or she. This person can have tattoos, low cut, or used to. They can have a whole sleeve and everything like that. This is somebody who's no good for you at all. They are, they just, they got a new beginning. Possibly got somebody else pregnant, hiding that, or having like a new beginning with somebody, hiding their pain. They're bored with that person, but using that person because they feel hurt by you and by whoever else. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, because you guys may be open to finding love again, this person's going to try to figure out how to start some trouble. Wow, that's fucked up. Look, to drag you back. Damn. They just trying to stop your new beginning because you're now opening yourself to a new love. Mm-mm-mm. You know, hateration, a motherfucking hater. Motherfucking haters and they damn feelings. Hurting. And it's because they got too much work to do. Spirit is not going to let this person come back. Any warning for the collectives? For the collectives to know? Oh, look, warning. Any warning for the collectives? What is a warning for the collectives, Spirit? What is a warning? And if you guys didn't see that extended, make sure you guys do. I don't normally do an extended when I feel like it. I did one today because I need to know what the fuck you're going to do because this person's coming towards you. And I want to know what your outcome is. So make sure if you guys have not, my members ain't seen the extended I put up today, you're going to want to do it because I barely do extended, but I felt the need to. Y'all need to go see that extended. Oh, wow. Warning. Drama. A lot of shit going down with this person. A lot of drama. Ooh. 
with somebody they kicked to the curb. Not you. Oh, but you already know. You already know the tea. So it's, it's no warning. You already know the tea. You know this person's heartbroken. For some of you guys, you this person is out here, you know, doing something strange for some change. Going out here having secret rendezvous. Um, and they're heartbroken. And they out here just fucking around. Toxic as fuck. So, I mean, yeah, they know they fucked up. So, and that's why they're doing what they're doing. So, they got drama with somebody who they kicked to the curb. You actually know who that person is because you know this the particular person that they were dealing with. And this person's heartbroken. And they out here just fucking around because they're heartbroken. That's it. Fucking around with people because they, they hurt. Using other people to, you know, or they have been doing that to numb them. Spirit, let me get a message to close out for the collective, y'all. This person is just hurting and just off balance. They don't know how to, that's what I'm saying. They don't know how to deal with their feelings right now. They just off balance as a motherfucker. And it's like, it's, it's bringing up their abandonment issues. And then the fact that you're not sad and you holding back is making the fucking words. And you're not showing no remorse and don't act like you sad. Look at this. This came out in reverse. They don't feel blessed right now at all. They're not, they don't feel blessed. They're not counting any blessings. They, because they feel like there's no growth with you. Oh, they codependent as fuck on you. They don't feel like it's, they're blessed because they don't feel like they got you. Mm. No opportunities. No blessings coming their way. No money increase. Oh, look, no blessings. Child. Oh, they this person's trying to, like, get grounded, I feel like. But it's like they can't heal. They can't heal. They feel like they can't heal. Oh, because all of the manipulation they done did them. Oh, shit, done fucked them up. They don't feel, they don't have the strength right now. They don't have no strength. This person's fucked. And like I said, um, I mean, they got a lot of fucking healing to do. It's nothing that you can do right now. You can't do anything for this person. Anything. Nothing. This person just has to heal. They have to go through this karma. I mean, it's karma. That's just what this is. And you cannot stop it and you cannot fuck it up. You got to let it go. This person has created this from being toxic. All right, let me get a card from their higher self to the collectives. What do they want the collectives to know, Spirit, before I close out? Don't forget to see that extended, you guys. I can still feel you. I can't ignore the signs I'm receiving any longer. So this person knows what the fuck is up. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. And that's go through this drama and this karma. They can't come towards you. They just can't. It's going to require a lot of... A lot of time and patience for this person. You, and then they've been dreaming about you too. Mm. I feel damaged like I just can't do this. See, this person's going through some shit. They're going through some mental anguish. They're going through some heavy karma. This person is fucked up. All right, y'all. So that's what they got going on, y'all. Y'all need to stay out the way. Like this person does, what they got to do right now is they got to motherfucking handle this karma they got going on. And they got to fucking heal. Okay. So, it's nothing against you. This is you. You've got to hold back. That's why spirits say you need to hold back from this shit, from this person. They got a lot of shit that they got to deal with. Karma for their toxic ways. All right, y'all. I love you guys so much, y'all. Talk to you guys soon. Bye, you guys.